One step ahead. Presence. Easy learning. For kids. Good morning, children. How is your study going on? Did you ask Daddy about our vacation? Sister Mom is asking about study and you are talking about vacation. Mom, where are we going on our vacation? I am so excited about it. But what about your studies? Let first your exams get completed. We have already booked the tickets, so don't worry. Don't cry like small baby. So are you ready for study? Okay, but you promise me that we will go to shopping after our exams. Can't stop dreaming about vacation. Okay, sweetheart. We will do lots of shopping. But, after the exams. Wow, that's so good. Then please help me in my study. Shopping. Lots of shopping. I am waiting for that day. So let's go in study room. Before we start our topic, viewers don't forget to click on like button and subscribe to our channel and for more updates and video click on bell icon for notification. Shall we start? So our topic is elements. What are elements? Can you explain in detail? You know everything around us is made of matter. The air we breathe. The water we drink. The food we eat. Even our own body is made of matter. Earth is made of matter, and so are all the stars, planets and moons in the universe. All matter is made up of tiny particles called atoms. So it means, everything is made up of atoms including me. Wow! I have never thought like that. The term atom comes from the Greek word for indivisible, because it was once thought that atoms were the smallest things in the universe and could not be divided. We now know that each atom is generally made up of smaller particles. Matter takes on different forms depending on how the atoms are arranged. We call these forms states of matter. On Earth, the most common states are solids, liquids, and gases. Atoms are so small that there are 60 million trillion atoms in a single grain of sand. There are 118 kinds of atoms, which make up everything around us, from the smallest piece of dust to entire stars and planets. Each kind of atom is called an element. On the basis of chemical nature matter is classified into element compound and mixture. But we will focus on elements here. An element is a pure substance. In order to understand the elements, let us consider examples of the substances like iron, silver etc. which we come across in our day-to-day -day life. Iron is made of iron atoms and silver is made of silver atoms. Elements are the pure substances which contain only one type of atoms. Aluminium is an element because it contains only aluminium atoms. Gold is an element because it contains only gold atoms. Am I right? You are right. You know chemists have discovered 118 elements. So far, among these elements, 92 are normal elements and remaining are synthetic elements. Element cannot be broken down into a simpler type of matter by either physical or chemical means. Elements can exist as either atoms or molecules.
Definition Any pure substance which cannot be broken into two or more pure substances by any chemical means is called an element. Summary of the topic Everything around us is made of matter, the air we breathe, the water we drink, the food we eat, even our own body is made of matter. All matter is made up of tiny particles called atoms. The term atom comes from the Greek word for indivisible. Matter takes on different forms depending on how the atoms are arranged. On Earth, the most common states are solids, liquids, and gases. There are 118 kinds of atoms. Each kind of atom is called an element. On the basis of chemical nature matter is classified into Element, compound and mixture. An element is a pure substance. Elements are the pure substances containing only one type of atoms. Element cannot be broken down into a simpler type of matter by either physical or chemical means, and can exist as either atoms or molecules. Any pure substance which cannot be broken into two or more pure substances by any chemical means is called an element. Now I understood what are elements, 